Hey everyone, it's a really nice day today so I decided to go outside and show you how paleontologists would decide by looking at the teeth of a dinosaur whether it was carnivorous or whether it was a herbivore just by looking at the teeth. So I hope you enjoy this and here we go. Okay, so let's start with pod dinosaur teeth and how we can tell that these teeth are from carnivorous dinosaurs. Now, this is an Albertosaurus tooth and it is shaped like a dagger. And we know that daggers are used to cut meat. It's very thin, very narrow, and but it also has serrations. So that would show that this tooth was actually used for cutting up meat. So we can tell that Albertosaurus is a meat eater. And in the same case, this applies to the Allosaurus tooth here. Uh, and it would also apply to this, which is a Tyrannosaurus rex tooth. Now, Tyrannosaurus rex, though, does not have narrow thin teeth. They are very thick, very solid and that would indicate that it was a bone crunching mechanism uh, in the mouth of T-Rex. So it was a meat eater but it had a different way of eating meat. So um, this creates the debate whether it was a scavenger or whether it was a predator but we now have evidence to suggest that it was both of these but now the real uh, debate is which did it do more of? Did it hunt more or did it scavenge more? And that's what paleontologists are trying to find out right now. Now the Spinosaurus tooth is slightly different. It doesn't have serrations. In fact, it's more like a crocodile tooth, which has made paleontologists believe that it may have had a crocodilian uh, lifestyle. Now, um, crocodiles will eat a lot of fish, and that would suggest that Spinosaurus was specified in being able to hunt fish. Um, but it was very large, and I don't think it spent its whole life just eating fish. I do think it would have hunted other dinosaurs that were much smaller than it, but I don't think it would have uh, had a lifestyle of completely eating dinosaurs every day of its life. I think it was specified for being a fish eater, but it would have eaten, uh, uh, it would have scavenged and it would have hunted dinosaurs given the right opportunity. So we can tell that the Spinosaurus probably lived a life like a cro crocodilian where it would have hunted, um, uh, hunted fish uh, on a daily basis, but it may have hunted uh, dinosaurs uh, when it had the opportunity to do so. So there's Spinosaurus. So we can tell that these teeth are from theropod carnivorous dinosaurs. But what about dinosaurs that were her herbivores? Well, here we have an Edmontosaurus tooth, right here. And here we have a Triceratops tooth. Now they are very leaf shaped, and we find uh, that di uh, plant eating dinosaurs also had serrated teeth. But we tend to find that they are much smaller than the carnivorous dinosaurs, and we also find that um, um, dinosaurs that ate plants have much smaller teeth. But there are, they have many, many, many batteries of teeth in their mouths, which would suggest that they would continuously eat and eat and eat. And that is something we find in plant-eating animals. And that would suggest that these dinosaurs, like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus, had teeth that were designed in eating plants, and so it makes them herbivore dinosaurs. So here we kind of get the idea that big, sharp, dagger-like teeth are for the meat eaters and Spinosaurus in is included in that but like T-Rex it has 
specified teeth for the way it ate. Just to remember that T-Rex did live in a world where dinosaurs were becoming very armoured like in Kylosaurus and were becoming very very uh, defensive with horns and spikes so T-Rex probably adapted to this by having uh, incredible monstrous teeth. So it would seem that these dinosaurs, like Spinosaurus and T-Rex and many other types of dinosaurs, were just adapting to the world they lived in to being able to hunt the food they were after. And we find that herbivorous dinosaurs had very uh, small teeth, but had many, many, many numbers of these teeth in their mouth.